Hey Jam Pals, Orville Johnson here for jamplay.com and uh, today we're going to add another little fiddle tune to our bag of uh, bluegrass fiddle tunes to flat pick on the guitar. Uh, it's good to know a bunch of these tunes uh, because one of the fun things to do, you probably know this already if you've already been uh, flat picking some fiddle tunes, but uh, uh, you probably realize that you know it's fun to get together with your friends and and play these tunes and jam on them and go out to the bluegrass festival and sit around the parking lot and sit around the RV and have a little taste of moonshine and pick on these old fiddle songs. You know it's a fun fun thing to do, and so you got to know a bunch of the tunes in order to do that. And so we've got a we've got a pretty good bag of them here in this section already, but I want to add some more for you. And so the one we're going to look at today is one called The Devil's Dream. And this is another traditional fiddle tune that has the the common format, an A part, a B part, and you play the A part twice and the B part twice to make a whole pass through the song. And this one's going to be in the key of A. We're going to play it in the actual um, key of A with no capo. And so let me play it for you and then I'll explain how you can play it. So one, two, three, four. The Devil's Dream for you. So let's take a look at the chords to this tune. And the chords we need to know, we need to know are A and E and B minor. And that's the only three chords we need to know for this song. So here I'll just kind of hum the melody and play the chords for you. One, two, three, four, A, da 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 B minor, da 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 E, A, da 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 B minor, da 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 E, A, da 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 B minor da 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 E A da 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 B minor E then A okay that's the first half and then the B part goes A da 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 B minor da da Even back to A, da 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 B minor, da 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 E A A da 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 B minor, da da E da 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 A da 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 B minor, da 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 E. Okay, so that's the changes for the old devil's dream. And then melodically, we're doing this. Here's the A part. I'll play it slow for you and then tell you how to play it.
Okay, so the notes are all, you know, pretty much, this is a real major scale kind of a song, because here's your A major scale on the first three strings, and all the notes are very much in that scale. And fingering-wise, I always, I use my ring finger uh, up here to play the, the high A note. Some people might uh, think that you should maybe use your little finger uh, because one convention of guitar playing that you know a lot of people uh, abide by is that idea of having one finger assigned per fret. So, for instance, uh, this A chord you know starts here at the second fret, and so I could look at this as like my index finger plays the notes on two. My middle finger plays notes on three, uh, ring finger has the notes on four, and my little finger gets the notes on five, right? So I could play this melody like this. But see, that's hard for me. I find that I find that difficult to to play that little phrase using my little finger and my ring finger. It's something like when I have to, you know, the notes that I'm playing there are five, four, five, open. I do that three times to start the melody, and it just seems like whenever I try to lift my little finger, you know, I have to lift both fingers off of that string to get to get to that open string, and it just feels um, awkward to me, just because of, it's because of, you know, the way that I personally use my little finger, I suppose. So, so if you feel like you need to use your little finger, you could. But the way I play this tune is I use my ring and my middle. I find it a lot easier to make that lift uh, after playing. To make that lift and then also keep my fingers really close to the strings. It seems like when I make that lift with my little finger, it kind of pulls my my third finger away from the string a little further than I would like it to be. And that could be um, for one of two reasons. Maybe I haven't practiced it, you know, enough times. Or another possibility is the fact of the, you know, the muscular structure of your hand um, is such that your index finger, your thumb, and your middle finger all have their own uh, tendon, system, you know, they're, they're, they're each, these three parts of your hand are independent actors, whereas your third finger and your little finger are connected to each other. And you can sort of feel that if you just kind of, you know, move your hand around and like wiggle your fingers and, and notice that like when you move your third finger or your little finger, it's harder to move one without moving the other. And that's because they're actually physically connected. So, that's one of the reasons that when you do train your little finger to play, it does take a lot of practice to get your little finger to feel a little more, a little independent from your other fingers. And, uh, you know, it's also, it's a different feeling in your hand when you're using that finger. So, I mean, I think you should, uh, you know, work to include the little finger in your playing. And I do use my little finger in certain situations, but in this particular situation, I really like the feeling better of using my my ring and my middle. Especially if you play this fast. You know, this is one of those songs, one of those fiddle tunes that people like to play real fast. Uh, so if you're going to get it up to speed and be able to kind of go do things that fast, you need your fingering uh, fingering pattern that you use to be the most comfortable way that you can play it. So for me, this is it. So ring middle.
And then when I go back down here to play these lower notes, I go back to the conventional, uh, conventional wisdom there. My index plays the notes on the second fret, and my middle finger plays the notes on the third fret. And so that's uh, two open, second string, three, two. Okay, and then here's the melody that I play over the B minor chord. Okay, so that's where we're repeating this phrase. And see there we change it. We leave out the open string and go right back from two to three. So it's open two, three, two, open two, three, two, open two, three, two, three, open first, two, four, and then we're back up to the fifth fret, play that da-da-da-da phrase again. And I finish down there on the A note on the third string. Open two, three, two, open two, three, two, open, third string two. So that's your A part for this song. I'll play it again for you slowly. Okay, that's the A part. So that's all strictly, you know, melodic notes, melodic lines played on the first and second string for the most part. We finish down there on the third string, but all the other notes are on one and two. And now in the second part of the tune, the B part, we use some double stops, string double stops. So let me play it for you and then I'll explain that. Okay, so what I'm playing there um, are two string double stops, and my first pair are going to be up here at the kind of out of this chord shape. If you if you take the F chord shape and move it up here to the fifth fret, that gives you an A chord. And so the double stops I'm using are just the notes of the chord. I'm using uh, string two at five string three at six, and then string four at seven. And so I'm playing strings two and three together, and then strings two and four together. And I'm also, I'm letting the first string, the E, stay open. And so I'm kind of letting that ring, I sort of hit that as I hit these double stops. to give it a little extra resonance, a little extra ringiness. Then I play a little melodic phrase starting with the open E. And then the next double stop I play uh, is I use this shape. I've got my uh, index finger on the second string at three and my middle finger on the third string at four, and I'm playing strings one and two. I'm leaving string one open. And I'm rolling, rocking back and forth between strings one and two and two and three. And then I play this melodic phrase. So I start with that open E. Then four, two, open, second string, three, two, open. Then I play the first double stop again. And 
and then I play the same ending lick as I played for the end of the A part. Oh, pardon me, it's not exactly the same. I should say that instead of going down, you know, I play up the scale, so I go. So I'm going open two, three, two, open two, three, two, three, open first, two, four, five. Okay, and then let's look. So that's the tune. That's the notes of the tune. So let's just take a quick look at the picking for a second, because most of the picking is uh, alternating down up, which, you know, we've already spoken a lot about that, and a lot of our fiddle tunes are are based on the down up picking but we got a couple places in here where we switch from that so in the A part that is 100 percent down up picking that's all just, you know, starting with a down stroke. So, all down up picking in, in the A part of this tune. In the B part, when we go to this, that's all down strokes. So there's a bunch of down strokes in a row there. It's down, 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 down. And because we are going down, as we're about to start the little melodic passage that you know happens in between these little double stop passages we're going to start that on an upstroke on the open E string so it's going to go down 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 up down up down up down up which sets us up to move to the next double stop with down strokes again down 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 down, down, and then we start our next melodic phrase on an upstroke on the open E. Da, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And so we end that phrase on an upstroke, which sets us up to go back to downstroke for. Then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So strict alternating picking for that section again. So go through that, put all of those elements together, and you will be playing The Devil's Dream. So have fun with that one, and I'll see you next time.